The Rams posted a shutout for the first time since 2014. For the first time since 2003, they're 5-2. and two. Are you shocked? Because some of the players were in the locker room after the game with Gary Klein. I'm Lindsay Theory for the Los Angeles Times. The Rams defeated the Arizona Cardinals 33 to nothing at Twickenham Stadium. Gary, they go into the bye week indeed. 5-2, and 2-0 two, two on a very long road trip. Last season, 4-12. and 12. Can you believe this is where this team is? They're, they're ahead of, I think, where anyone predicted they would yeah. be at this point, including, I think, some of the players. They're saying pump the brakes. I asked several, does this mean you're a legitimate playoff contender? And I think inside, of course, they want to say that, but they're saying, hey, not so fast. Even though Sean McVay said this was the best game they've played all year, as you mentioned, to finish a long road trip, they're saying, hey, we're going into the bye week, we'll regroup, but they're in a pretty good spot. A long road trip might be putting it nicely. 10 days on the road, a long week in Jacksonville followed a long trip, followed by a long trip over the Atlantic to play in London. But the defense, they came out fast and strong. Carson Palmer, he was knocked out of the game. Adrian Peterson was a non-factor in this shutout. This is a defense, we've been talking about it. Adjusting to a 3-4 under Wade Phillips, well, they seem to have it dialed in now with that shutout. They've been playing well since the second half of the Dallas game. You mentioned Carson Palmer, he had a broken arm. Alec Ogletree came through the middle, forced that interception that LaMarcus Joyner pulled in, the key play to the game. It, everything changed after that. And Jared Goff, they'd had trouble finding the end zone the last several games. They left a few points out there. Greg Zerline came in and kicked a few full field goals. But, of course, Jared Goff also did find the end zone himself on a read option. He said it looked pretty unathletic, but he was looking forward to them finally calling that play. And the offense started to find its rhythm again. He said he's been begging them to call that read option, even though it puts him at risk. He did bang up his left hand. He said he'll be fine. But the thing about Goff, Aside from that one interception, which he called a dumb play, he managed the game pretty good. He had the two-minute drill at the end of the first half. They had a long drive that ended in the end zone. They finally kind of got over that red zone hump a little bit at the end of the game. So all things being equal, the defense played well, the offense did some nice things, and the special teams, again, with Greg Zerline, were nails. Players are saying the right things. They might be saying, pump the brakes. We're not quite sure if this is a playoff contending team. However, the smiles in that locker room really said otherwise after the game. Guys clearly excited that they are 2-0 and on this long trip. They are now going into the bye week, and then they'll travel back to New York. They're logging the uh, frequent flyer miles to play the Giants. Gary, what do you think going into this bye and then heading back to New York? I think there's no reason why these, this Rams team can't be 3-0 and in the month of October. They're unbeaten on the road. Yeah. They've done it on a short trip to San Francisco, a mid-range trip to Dallas, and now this long trip to Jacksonville and London. They don't have a problem going on the road. If they can kind of keep things together, go through that bye week, get a little healthy with the guys that are banged up, they should be in good shape heading to New York. They had no time for sightseeing this week with the short trip to London. However, it did appear that if you guys were getting ready to go out and celebrate, maybe see Big Ben or the Queen's Place after this game. Gary and I, we're going to see you back in Los Angeles. We'll hop on that long flight back across the Atlantic and into the States and uh, go into the bye week. We'll see you there uh, from the Rams facility in Thousand Oaks. With Gary, I'm Lindsay from Twickenham Stadium.